If you jerk off when you get horny, stop when it gets difficult, sleep when you are tired, or eat when you are hungry, you will not achieve the ambitious goals that you're aiming towards. It is as simple as that. It should make a lot of sense that listening to your body signals should bring you the best possible outcome. But a lot of men fall into this trap, and it only brings them misery and depression. And so here's what you need to do instead. Do not listen to your body signals. Instead, do what you know you need to do that will bring you closer to achieving your goals. I had times where I did nothing except listen to my body signals. And only as recently as the end of February. I felt like wasting time watching YouTube and playing games. And I did just that. On what do you honestly think that brought me? Nothing except depression and misery. Oh, but it's okay because I got to relax. And this is exactly why that is. Your body will always want and try to take the path of least resistance. And in the modern world, with all the overstimulation, the oversexualization of women, fast food, and basically alternatives for everything that is important, it means that your body will draw you towards things that aren't the best for you, and sometimes things that aren't good at all and only because it's an easier alternative to the thing that you actually want. Which means that your body will crave things and will give you the urge to chase them. And it will come together in such a way that you won't actually realize the intent. You will feel hungry so you'll order fast food instead of making yourself nutritious food. Because fast food is the path of least resistance and making nutritious food is quite effortful. You will feel tired and so you will take caffeine instead of napping or having sufficient sleep tonight. Because caffeine is the path of least resistance and having a good sleep schedule is quite effortful. You will feel horny so you will jerk off instead of using that energy to improve yourself so that you can have sex with real beautiful women. Because jerking off is the path of least resistance and improving yourself and putting yourself out there where you may get rejected is effortful and painful. You feel bored so you will watch more brain numbing content instead of pursuing what is meaningful. Because having a little rectangle that can do everything for you is the path of least resistance. That means that you can spend as little as a few days listening to your body's natural instincts and your life would literally get ruined and that is not an exaggeration. It is so harmful because your brain doesn't know the difference between reality and a fictional made up world. That's why there are people who would fight to the death in arguing that the earth is flat, and people who believe crazy things like that they're the resurrection of Jesus, or that they're a child of Satan and they need to make sacrifices for him and stuff like that. These people have taken in so many things that feed into their fictional world that they now live in it. We would quite clearly see that people are living in a fictional world like from the examples that I gave, but some of them would die fighting for what they believe in, even if it's completely fictional. And by the exact same token, you're also living in a fictional world where all of your needs are met and everything is fantastic. But anybody looking from the outside in can tell that you're living in a depression pit. But you'll think that everything's fantastic because you fulfill your sense of intimacy by watching porn. You fulfill your sense of hunger by stuffing yourself with shit food. You fulfill your sense of purpose by playing video games. And you fulfill your sense of boredom by watching brain numbing content that doesn't actually give you happiness nor fulfillment. So what could you possibly do about it? Think strategically and be smart about your decisions. Think about the second, third and maybe even fourth consequence of things before you actually do them. If you give in to the urge to jerk off, the first consequence is that you'll feel a little bit of pleasure, and that's all you'll be focusing on. And that's the only consequence that anybody thinks when doing bad habits. But the second consequence is that you'll feel shame and guilt because you know you shouldn't have done that. The third consequence may be something like that you'll feel disappointed in yourself for doing that. And the fourth consequence is that you'll do nothing all day because you spent all of your energy hating yourself. However, if you fight the urge to jerk off and instead put that energy into something that is meaningful, the first consequence is that it will be difficult and it will feel like a lot of effort initially. The second consequence is that you'll feel a sense of pride for doing hard and rewarding work. The third consequence is that you'll build on top of the momentum that you got from completing your work to do even more work. And the fourth consequence is that you'll finish the day feeling like a real man because you've done everything that you know you needed to do. That will of course require discipline and it will require you to do the work. You do the work and you do the things that you know you need to do so you can create yourself an enjoyable reality to live in. And not an enjoyable fantasy world where you have all the alternatives to the things that you actually want. If there are maniacs who believe that they're the resurrection of Jesus or that the world is flat, then it certainly means that you can believe in yourself to do the things that you know you need to do that will make your life better. Click and watch this video right now, put in enough time and attention because that will make anything into reality.